Okay. Uh, Good question. Anyway, tonight we have... Why am I doing that? <laughs> Shelley Long is here. We have the music of Lyle Lovett and uh, Julie, Julie Crone, who is one of the top... I guess one of the top three jockeys. She is the top female jockey. Top, top female jockey, yeah. but one of the top jockeys regardless of sex, right? Absolutely. Speaking of sex, did you... What? <laughs> All right. Anybody recognize this picture? This was in, I think, uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what it's from. It was in a newspaper, I think. Well, we're not plugging Playboy magazine, but did you see that? That's the Playboy logo, is it not? Yes. With the rabbit ears? All right. Now, if you look closer, actually it's made up of 1,000 students on spring break in Florida on the beach. So I would assume that the Playboy people got them to do that for promotion or something. Did you ever wonder how they do those kind of formations? To get them from air? Yes, I have. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> how would you go about it? If you had a yeah. thousand kids and you had to say, look, we're going to form this gigantic yeah. rabbit, how would you go out and tell them to do it? No idea. Well, you got to start somewhere. I'm sure. Just, this is kind of a test. This isn't... You draw the logo in the sand. That's not a bad idea. Right. Not a bad idea. Well, what we did, we phoned, for example, when you see the marching bands at football games during halftime, yeah. now you can't draw, obviously, a logo no. on the field because they're moving all the time. You know how they do that? No, I don't. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> we phoned a gentleman by the name of Gordon Henderson. He is the director of the UCLA Marching Band and asked how, how he does those things. He uses a playbook, like football coaches, and they diagram it. This is the 88 playbook. I'm not making this up. And these are all of the different... Let me just give you an idea here. That's, for example, you can see, spells out UCLA, and they, they lay it out on a, on a grid. Remember when you were in mathematics, mm -hmm. you, took a, you had to draw a graph? Right. And it's drawn to a grid, and all the kids have a certain number on the grid that they have to stand. And then when they move, they move to another position. Yeah. But they make it out just like a, like a playbook. All There must be a reason you're bringing all this up. <laughs> what? There must be a reason you're bringing all this up. This is known as, in, in, we say in comedy, the setup. Set up. The setup. Uh, let's see. The designs are drawn on a card marked with the yard lines. As I said, that, well, there. everybody in the band is given a number. Then it's animated like a giant cartoon. And when they blow the whistle or hit the drum or whatever, what do they do when they get, want them to change? They uh, pay attention. <laughs> they they pay, pay attention. You're getting a lot of help tonight. <laughs> getting no help at all, except jello from you. All right, now we're going to show you some of the results first of real football formations at halftime. These are the marching bands of Michigan, West Virginia, Notre Dame, and the Arkansas Marching Razorbacks. Watch the monitor. These are just, just for real, folks. The set called the setup. I don't know what particular games these were, but... Were these taken out here at uh, the Rose Bowl? All right, well, who cares where they were taken? <laughs> Kind of uh, makes you feel like throwing your hat in the air, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, when, you, when yeah. you see something like that. Well, if you think that's impressive, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, the Tonight Show, being no stranger to an awe-inspiring spectacle, uh, we got our own studio audience to demonstrate some tricky maneuvers if they want. We put one of our NBC cameramen, and we have many of them here. This happened to be Cecil B. DeMiller. Uh, <laughs> We put him up on the roof the other day, and we're going to show you some actual footage taken out in the parking lot with some formations of our own studio audience. So, Bobby, you want to roll that tape? Watch the monitors, folks. All right, here they are, awaiting the order to begin. It's hard to believe a lot of months of preparation have come down to this moment. And they're ready. Here they go. Here comes the first formation, the toothpick, <laughs> which is followed in breathtaking precision by the stick of gum. <laughs> and by his healthier cousin, the stick of sugarless gum. <laughs> hey, they're just warming up. Best, best is yet to come. Now, this uh, next formation should be pleasing to American history buffs. Let's look at the look at the top of your screens, folks. As they form the infamous feathers from see this? The arrow that killed Custer. <laughs> right, hold on to your seats for the next one as they regroup into. The San Andreas Fault. <laughs> All right, the spectacle continues, folks. Next is their tribute to National Oral Hygiene Week. 
Here is the unmistakable dental floss. <laughs> This is amazing. Look at the concentration on these faces coming up. <laughs> now, they're going to uh, attempt a formation right out of today's headlines. There it goes. Eastern Airlines stock. <laughs> well, don't say there's more. If not a music fan alive, how about this next maneuver? Elvis's cardiogram. Boo yourself. You got in free. Get off my case. All right. There we are. Ten past eight. How about that, friend? Continuing our salute to show business, we traveled from Memphis to Maine to take an aerial look at Angela Lansbury's bicycle treadmark. Okay. Now let's turn on the truck windshield wiper. And now, friends, from the animal kingdom, here's an amusing little oddity. The, the centipede. That's right. <laughs> and, and folks, here is <laughs> the the pirate centipede. Only. <laughs> okay. Here's something, folks, that uh, we've worked very hard on. Watch this next one. Tammy Baker's eyelash. Actual sign. Okay. Here we are, folks. Months of rehearsal went into this big finish here. Watch this. The zipper. Folks, there it is, the actual zipper in the living room. There we are, closing the zipper. How about that? There it is, folks, in fast motion, in case you missed it the first time. And what can I tell you? <laughs> As you said, wow. As you said, As we said this afternoon when we saw that, it's so bad, it's good. There are certain things, you know, that you say, isn't that silly? But silliness sometimes will overcome the, uh, the actual presentation. What? what? Uh, Just silliness sometimes overcomes the actual worth of oh. the piece of material. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> spent a lot of time with that. Did you go out with the camera? Yeah. Those people had to be coached. What'd that take all together, Jeff? Uh, many days. A couple of days at a time, right? <laughs> For this. For this semi-reaction to this. Well, <laughs> we were on funnier ground when we were talking about Jello. You know that. I thought that was rather entertaining. We yeah. want to thank our I'm different. I'm different. different. Sometimes you go for different. Yeah, that was go a for different. Different piece. Well, <laughs> here, let me clean this off here. I'll just take this with me. <laughs> Who do you have on the show tonight? You're probably asking at home about now. If you're, if you're still in front of the TV. <laughs> Please, some people sit at home. Dan Zipper. <laughs> what the hell is that? A stick of gum. They didn't do anything. <laughs> Look just like the arrow. That's the idea. Okay. Um, who's on the show tonight? Shelly, uh, Cro not Shelly Crone. <laughs> Julie Crone, Shelley Long, right. and Lyle Lovett, and Julie Crone. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, come in. Are they, are they dismantling the set? <laughs> we talk. Well, that's the way they're going to tell us when we're through. They're right. just going to start taking pieces of the set away. Now. <laughs> what? Why is that? Well, why don't we give the audience a break and say, hey, tonight, no commercials. Yeah. And, I, and I would really like to do that personally. <laughs> but uh, I can't do that. This we'll be, is a jello we'll... commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see how long he can sit there before he really starts to sweat. He's, he's not doing anything. He's just sitting at the desk. <laughs> Shelley Long is going to join us. Jennifer, what? Oh, I know Julie, but Shelley will follow her. <laughs> I know what I'm doing every minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> 